how's it going today? Today, since 4th of July is right around the corner, right. we are going to share some great ideas for DIYing your 4th of July. That's right. We are going to show you how to make a fun, festive 4th of July banner um, along with some star drink toppers and these adorable bandana napkin rings. And if you stay with us long enough, because you should, we are going to show you some even more adorable 4th of July projects at the end that you need to make this 4th. You totally should. And totally should. <laughs> because if you're having a barbecue or just want to have some things around your house to make it festive, you're going to get some really easy and good ideas here today. So right. ask us any questions along the way. All of the supplies and the projects can be found on blitzy.com. We'll have Emily manning the chat so she can help relay the questions to us and she'll be providing links to you to the products that we show and the projects. So let's say hi to yeah. Emily so she can introduce herself and uh, let you know what's going on. Hey everyone, I will be here on the chat with you helping me answer any questions or throwing them to Katie and Megan and Megan. If you want to know where any of the supplies are at, I have links for you to all of the videos, full videos for these craft projects as well as some of our other cool products we're going to be showing you today. So I will let them take it away and show you the first project. All right, so we mentioned we're going to start off with a DIY a 4th of July banner. And you know here at Blitzy, we love our banner, or we are member keepers punch boards. Like we use them all the time, right? We're for all every for holiday. every holiday. But if you're going to make nothing else this holiday, it's a banner it's because banner. you can put it outside, you can put it on your mantle, you can put it anywhere, so and you can totally customize that's it. That's right, that's right. So you're gonna show us, right? I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna start actually with the, the We Are Punch Board to create the banner for my 4th of July banner. So I've already pre-cut my paper here and I've cut this down to five by seven. And what's great about this punch board is you can get different shapes. You can get the traditional kind of triangular shape there or you can get, as you can see here, kind of the, the square with the little notch in the bottom. So you can get a couple different shapes here out of this punch board. And I'm gonna go with the one that has the little notch in the bottom because it's my favorite. So I already said, punch, I already cut down my paper. I'm gonna lift up my punch board here. I'm going to slide it in, and I'm going to center it between the five inch mark there, close it, and then what's great is that the cutting tool is nestled right inside there, so it's all ready to go. So I'm going to grab my tool, I'm going to slide it into this little groove here, if you can see that, sliding it in, and then I'm just going to cut, come back over here, slide it in, and cut, remove this piece here, and you see I have the start of my banner. So I already pre-cut two of these, so they're already good to go, but we're going to start with this guy, and then we're going to move along to the alphabet punch board. So I'm going to put this guy away, and we have the alphabet punch board, which is new. We saw this, what, at CHA this yeah, year? Yeah, I think for a while this banner punch board was the first one that was available, and now yeah. they've paired it with the alphabet. So you could just make banners yep. you know, with just that, yep. but this is gonna make you mm -hmm. be able to actually add words. That's right, because you could use you know, stickers, embellishments, whatever you wanted, but this just kind of pairs, like Katie said, perfectly with the banner punch board because you can create whatever word you want, which is awesome. So the board we have here, once again, it has that kind of nestled um, spot there for the cutting tool, and then it comes with the punch board, or the, um, the instruction manual here, so you don't have to guess, how do I make my letters? It has every single letter in here, so you know exactly how to cut your letter. So I'm going to do USA for my banner, so I'm going to show you how to cut a U. So I'm going to turn this here so I can see it. So I've already cut my paper down to 3 by 5 so all the letters you're going to make are going to be 3 by 5 That's kind of the standard for this okay. punch board. I think there are maybe one or two letters, like the W and the M, I think that might be a little bit larger if you want to make one full letter, or you can pair, I think it's two N's or two U's to make a letter, but other than that, all the pieces are going to be keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Exactly. Three by five. Three by Any five is all you, you need. You can do numbers too. Yes, right? you can do numbers as well, and um, some special characters. So, okay. love the board for that. So, we've already cut our piece of paper down here to three by five, and I'm doing my U. So, I'm going to follow my instructions here. I'm going to take my piece of paper. I'm going to slide it into my little punch here, and you can see I've followed the instructions there. I'm going to press down. I'm going to pull it out. And then the next step is to actually insert it into the cutting part here. So I'm going to open my cutting part. I'm going to slide that paper in, grab my tool, slide it into that groove, which is what I love about these boards because they make it so easy. You slide it in, 
and I'm going to cut, and I'm going to stop right there. It's like foolproof. Right? Mm -hmm. I love it. It all comes together so easily. So then you're going to put the tool in and cut again, and I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to open this up, and this is going to pop right out. And then the next step is to actually notch out around rather near you. So I'm going to slide this in. All the punches are right here, which is great. So Punch built in it. corner rounder. Corner rounder here. Corner rounder here. And what's great is you can leave it, you know, I've already cut one here, plain, just simple, straight edge, or you can actually create decorative notches. So you just take your piece, you stick it in to the other side of that punch. And then you I like for down. the USA, I like it with the decorative notch. Oh. Just I'm like, oh, that's not what I did, but that's I'm okay. Well, I like yeah. it both ways, but it's yeah. kind of cool. Right? It kind of feels like a flag or something. Yes, yeah. that's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this, like I said, you can do a little notch to add that decorative detail. I did not. Sorry, Katie. I did not. <laughs> crushing my I know. Hands. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's what's great about this, too, is you can do kind of the classic font, or you can do that fancy font, you know, for the 4th of July, but I did not. So now I have my letter, and I have my banner. So I'm going to adhere my letter to my banner here with some adhesive. So we're just going to add a little adhesive. And as I'm looking at my banner, I realize I forgot one important step, adding my holes to my banner. So first we're just gonna lay this down. You can go back and though, adhere and do that, right? right? Yep, so I'm gonna grab my board, no worries here. Grab my punch board. And then once again, the tool is right in there for us. I'm just gonna slide that in, give it a punch, flip this over, give it a punch, and we now have our notches. So now you can put string through there. Exactly, and, come and string in together. them together. But before we string them together, there's one more thing I'm gonna add because you can't stop there. I actually grabbed the We Are Fringe and Scoreboard here, which Ooh. is really cool. For parties, you can make tassels, you can add fringe to different things, you can make paper lanterns, you can use a scoring tool to make paper rosettes. So another thing you're gonna want in your party you know, tool arsenal is this fringe and scoreboard. So I've already cut down some mylar paper here, and this also comes from We Are. They make um, it in gold and silver, I think maybe a rose gold. Um, but this one is- So this is different than foil. This is different than foil. This is just their mylar sheets. Okay, so you're going to take it, and you're going to fold it in half, open the board here. I'm going to slide this in. I've never used this board. Yeah, I've used it a couple times. It's pretty cool. Like I said, if you don't want to like Well, what I love about these tools, especially these three, is that they can all be used individually yep. or they can all be used together the way that you're pairing yep. them. And then I'm just gonna do my um, my fringe a half inch apart. So I'm gonna align the end there with the half inch marker. I'm gonna move my score or my fringe cutting tool up here. I'm gonna close this, and then I'm going to press down. And you see it creates oh. the fringe for you. So I'm just gonna move this over and once again. So you again, could do this with normal paper yep, too. Yep, tissue paper. Um, obviously would be really perfect for this. Normal paper, I was gonna do the normal paper at first, and then I realized that we had the silver sheet, so I thought, add the silver add for the, the holiday. Add the silver for the holiday. That's what's really cool too, is you can totally customize these banners with you know red and green for Christmas, you can do birthday, exactly, you can do exactly. Thanksgiving, you can do anything. Graduation. Yeah, yeah, so many holidays, you know. I know we were talking about other products and different holidays you can do, and there's a ton of holidays that we're constantly celebrating, so this is perfect because you capture all of them with the DIY project. So now you're just rolling that up. I'm just twisting it together here. No rhyme or reason, just twisting it. Gonna kind of twist it on itself. And then I've already cut a piece of twine here that I'm gonna wrap around a couple of times. I'm gonna wrap, wrap, wrap. So you've just made like a little tassel, yeah, right? a little fancy tassel. And I'm gonna tie a knot there to secure it. And one more knot just for good measure. And then I will grab my scissors here to trim that down. Um, I just I took a little peek at the comments. Yes. We'll, we'll check in with Emily in a second, but I saw okay. Maggie and Lori made it today. Perfect. Hi, nice to win. Thanks Hi, for joining us. I know it's not our regular 10 o'clock. I know, right? We're totally uh, going off the cuff here and uh, doing a, a live with Let's See What It Tastes Tuesday. So Tuesday at 2. That's right. All right, so now that I have 
my U, I'm going to add it. I've already added my other letters and my other um, tassels. So I'm just going to string this on the um, hemp cord that I've already, whoops, that I've already cut. I'm going to go down and behind. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that festive tassel that I made. And you can see, I mean, obviously I already pre-cut these other ones, but had I done the whole project together, it probably would have taken maybe 20, 30 minutes at that. And you have a festive so banner. How cute. fun is that? Perfect for the 4th of July. I would have never thought to add the little tassels. Right? How fun is that? so cute. I love that. How fun is that? So I love, like I said, all of the We Are Memory Keepers, um, you know, punch boards products, but the fringe. Uh, and scoreboard kind of is that little extra touch. It's the extra pizzazz. Yeah. Well, if we look down here really quick where we were at the beginning of the video that says stars and stripes, this is just using the alphabet punch board. Megan the Third did this one. Um, basically using the paint, the paint samples yeah, that paint you get. Paint swatches. The yeah. paint swatches, that's the word I was looking for. So there's an example of just using the alphabet punch board by itself. But then, can you show me that you Yeah. And the, oh, the notch? The fancy you? Yeah, but then, so there's the alphabet punch by mm -hmm. itself, paired with the banner, then paired with the fringe board. So, mm -hmm. love that. Trifecta there, you guys. All yeah. three boards. Use them all make. together. Yeah. And like Katie said before, you can, you know, choose your colors, whether you want, you know, bright colors, pastels, depending on, you know, the, the holiday or the function you're celebrating, to totally customize even the fringe. You we know? are make, we literally make banners for everything. Everything. Using these. Everything. <laughs> and now that we have this tassel maker, pop on some tassels to kind of take it to the next level, right? Let's check in with Emily real quick because she's seeing all the comments in case we've missed anything. Let's see what's going on over with Emily. Hey guys, so it sounds like a lot of people, um, this might be their first time seeing the alphabet punch board. We had a couple of questions. It does do, it's letters A through Z, zero through nine for numbers, and it also makes the ampersand and the exclamation point. So you get a lot out of this one board. Um, it really is great for making banners. It's a great size of the letters being three by five. Someone asked, she was like, I have an, she has an older electronic die cutter, I believe a Cricut, and she said, is this something that I should use or have? It's a really good alternative for that because it's a little, it's affordable and it's portable. So you can really create the letters, make a banner anywhere. And we always say it's a really good gift for teachers because the letter size is perfect for classroom bulletin boards. So that's a couple of things on the alphabet punch board. I have the links in the chat and I'll post them again. This is all available on blitzy.com on our website. So if you see anything you like, make sure you watch for the link or let me know and I can try and send it again. Thanks, Emily. Yeah, thanks, Emily. So like I said, if, if there's one DIY that you do for your 4th of July, I think that doing a banner right? is the best. But in case you don't have the punch boards yet or you don't want to do a banner, yeah. we have Megan the Third coming up who's got a couple of other projects that are a lot of things that you have at home yeah. already. So Megan, you want to come join us? Yeah, Megan, take you're gonna head out. Okay, so now I have the other. Hello, night. everyone. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you did a bunch of Fourth of July I did. projects, and we have a whole page on Blitzy.com dedicated to everything that you kind of coordinated for that. So you're gonna yeah. show us a couple of those. Yeah, right? I have two ready. Yeah, Fourth of July is one of my favorite holidays. So crafting for it, I had so much fun creating all of these things. So the first one I'm gonna show you is these uh, straw toppers. So they look like this. So it's kind of like a fun way to add a little like decoration to your drinks, add a little flair to them. And it takes, it's super fast and easy. And you can make so many of these. And the best thing that I found out is that after you're done using the straw, after your friends are done, you can take it off and you can keep this. So they're reusable, so. Love that. Yeah, so the. So what do you need to make the straw toppers? Just straws and paper? Um, yes, yeah, so straws, paper, and then whatever die cut you want, you can literally make this for any holiday, any occasion. I have some star dies here, so we're gonna make stars. And you need a die cutting machine too. Um, so then... This is the Kaiser Craft decorative dies. Looks like nesting stars. Yeah, so there's yeah. how many? Five in here? Yeah. So there's a bunch of different sizes too, so. So 
I'm gonna check while you're getting that set up. I love looking over at our little comment board here. Let's see what's going on. Is this, like, we were doing Periscope for a while and you could see all the hearts going by. I think sometimes they go by. Give us some thumbs up or hearts so we can see how that works. No? <laughs> I don't know how it works. Maybe if I do it. Oh, there's one. See? See how it flies by? How cool is that? There's another one. Do you see that? I just wanted to see them fly by. That's very cool. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for humoring me. I love it. Okay, she's got her die in the die cutting machine. So all she's doing is now lining it up and we're going to run it through. I just, I just wanted to see that. That was one of the things I really liked about Periscope is that it's like really very interactive at the time. So I feel like we're getting, we're getting there with this. We, get, we know a lot of people on Periscope and I feel like Facebook is just so big. I'd like to know you guys. So let us know what your thoughts are and give us the feedback so we know if we're, what we're doing is right. Okay, so, and I punched out two pieces, so then you have a front and back. And then, okay, set that aside. Okay, and then all you do is adhere them together. Is that your Tombow tape runner? Um, it is. Yep. <laughs> Tombow Mono Removable Adhesive is what that one was. They have removable and I think they have permanent. Okay, so then, so now you have a front and back. And then you're going to want to make the slit in the middle so then it would fit around your straw. You're just kind of eyeballing that? Yeah. I went like in the middle, so then, I don't know, I just thought the middle. Yeah, so then they've got, and just kind of like evens it out yeah. through the middle. And then you want to take a straw, let's go with the red one, and then you're just going to pop it right in, and there you go. How fun what? is that? <laughs> so easy. And paper anyone straws. Anyone can do this. Yeah, anyone can do this. Paper straws are already like a super cute thing to add to your drinks, and now add a topper to it, and super fun. Very cute <laughs> yes, and so, so easy. That. It's yeah, it's really like, easy. You kind of look at it and you're like, how did she do that? It's like, <laughs> oh, that's it. That's yeah, that's so really simple. it. So you can whip up a bunch of these if you're having a big Fourth of July party. You can have some even on the side. These are also just like look decoration. Super, yeah, they look super festive, like decorations. So yeah, love that. Before we move on, let's check in with Emily because she's seeing all the comments going through <laughs> and she can let us know if anyone has any questions. I love these star straw toppers. They're super cute. I think it's something that if it was at your party, people would be Instagramming them all night. So highly recommend. We do have a question, not as much about the craft, but on... Well, the die cutting machine, can you just cut paper in it or can you cut felt, fabric? I think you can, we've cut through felt and fabric with it before, something that's a little bit thinner, probably not much thicker than fabric. Yeah, I think oh, depending on the plates, I know there's a couple settings in there. I think with the deepest one, you can cut through fabric. So I think that is a possibility that you can do fabric and felt and stuff like that. Yeah, I would say the Big Shot isn't one of like the super heavy duty machines that are out there. There's some more um, electronic ones that are going to cut even deeper, but you can get through a lot of different materials. Any other? Cool. Um, oh, Lori has a great idea. Do that for pencil toppers too. So not even just on straws. You can cut, you can top a lot of stuff with uh, this technique. So that's really cool. Yeah. I think that's a really great idea. That's a good idea. You could get for like a going back to school gift for teachers. Yeah, for you could teachers. Fill, it, fill a mason jar with pencils and put yeah. like world's best teacher toppers <laughs> on there. So you can do lots of cool things. You can, Even like party favors too with on pencils, yeah. put them in goodie bags. That's a good idea. The ideas are endless. <laughs> so you have another idea for us. I do, yes. And this is also really great for decorating your table for the 4th of July. So yeah. again, if you, you know, just need something really quick to make you make your table more festive, this is yeah. a good... So these are bandana napkin rings, which how cute are these? 
These are super easy to make. Like I would buy those. <laughs> they look super And you can fancy. make them really easily. So they all you, like what it's made out of is just a paper towel roll, toilet paper roll, and then you use bandanas, and then I just use twine and a button to add some decorative embellishments to it. So let's make, what color should we make? Maybe a red one. Yeah, yeah let's red will show up good on camera. Let's do red. So you just want to cut a strip in the bandana. And again, you're just eyeballing. Yeah, just eyeballing. Not too thick, or else it would look maybe a little chunky, and then you don't want it too thin, or else it won't cover, cover the... it fully. So just a little strip like that, and then I'm going to cut off this red, because you're going to want that bandana look to it. So for the this size tube, I actually got three out of one. So that could kind of give you an estimate of how many you would want to make. And then... And that's just like a standard toilet paper roll, right? Yeah, yeah. And you can exactly. get three napkin rings out of it. Be careful. <laughs> so I did that just to start it. And then use the scissors... I know a lot of, when we first posted these videos, I think it was Lori that said she was going to do this with her, some of these projects with her grandchildren. So these yeah, are great these are kids, really kids, grandkids involved, but it's also classy enough looking that you don't need <laughs> kids to do this. Yeah, so let me get my glue gun. Even though it's easy enough. And then, so I'm going to make a little dot inside the roll. So that's where the bandana is going to stick to, if I can get this to work, there we go, okay, and then you're going to stick that in there, and then you're just going to wrap it around like this, until it goes all the way around, and just do that across the whole thing, and this could even be the part that you would give to your grandkids, say, here, wrap this around for me, and they'll be super excited exactly. to help, then you've done the cutting, and mm -hmm. the hot glue, let the kids do yep. the wrapping, and You've done crafting together. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to keep wrapping. And then you're going to make another hot glue gun dab in there. If you want to finish off. And then it looks like this. And I just thought of this too with the red. This could be cute for your like farm themed parties, you can have a bunch of the red ones for the yes, napkins. Yes, that That's would be so idea. cute. So 4th of July or farm party. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and again, these come in so many different colors. You can do these for so many different themes, party ideas. You can get like fluorescent bandanas if you're doing yeah. an 80s theme party yeah, or that's something. Perfect. So you can do it, you can totally customize this for different holidays too. I love that. Or just if you like bandanas for every day. <laughs> yeah, depends. that's what I really like about all these projects and crafts is that you can customize them, to the different colors for each theme party. So now what I'm doing is just wrapping the twine around. And then I'm going to add a button to it just to give it a little bit more decorative touch to it. And then to make this stick, I'm going to put another dab of hot glue on the button. Okay. And then I'm going to finish it off and tie a bow around it. And then you're pretty much done. So super easy, super quick craft. Great for your tables, for all your parties. You can even make neutral colored ones, maybe like with burlap, and use oh, yeah. it for and paper napkins because we were doing, we, ha we literally had a 4th of July barbecue and we yeah. used these. So we were just in the backyard, paper napkin, but you could get fancier napkins too and put them on, mm -hmm. on there to kind of dress it up. But even just your you know, backyard barbecue paper napkins work as mm -hmm. well. 
But let's check in with Emily, see if there have been any questions. I know she's been putting links to all of the products and the, and the videos for these. So how's it going over there, Emily? Hey, so yeah, we're getting a questions on a couple of the supplies. If we've got the bandanas, um, the star paper. I have links to all of the videos that we are full videos for the projects that we've shown you in the chat. I also included a link to a landing page on our website that has these videos plus about five or six more. So a lot of 4th of July craft ideas, make sure you check them out. They're all really simple, can be done with your kids, um, for your kids, really fun crafts. So make sure that you give those a look. Very cool. Thanks, Emily. <laughs> so then here is the finished one. So super quick and easy craft to have at your next. And a paper, a, a roll from your bathroom, your yes. toilet paper roll. Like, <laughs> you can craft with that. I mean, there's so many things this you can do, but that's really, that's probably my favorite one that I've seen from yeah. toilet paper roll crafts, I think. <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna actually show you a couple of more finished projects. Uh, Megan has some over there, I'm gonna join her, but we have a whole bunch of ideas for you to DIY your 4th of July. So let's check in with, uh, well, yeah, let's go, <laughs> let's go over there and we'll show you the rest of them. Bye guys. <laughs> hey guys. How fun were those, those videos? Those were so, so cute. Awesome. Oh my gosh, those little uh, napkin rings were so cute. As uh, were the toppers. I mean, so easy and so fun. Um, and like we mentioned earlier, we have some additional crafts outside of the ones we've already shown you guys. And these are all linked. Um, so if you want to see the full tutorials, you can. But we're just going to quickly go through them and show you some additional ideas that you can make for either just 4th of July in general or for your barbecue. So I'll start with this one. Claudia made these adorable little popsicle stick flags. And these are great, you know, crafting for the kids. If you have kids at your party, you wanna give them something to do. You can make these for them. I know at the barbecue that you had, we actually used them as decor and hung them on the back of well, the chairs. Well, I was actually having a hard time like, what are we gonna use these for? Like it was very kid crafty yeah. to me that yeah. I was like, I don't know. But then we put them on the back of every chair yeah. and it totally dressed up the backyard mm -hmm. like, oh, I yeah. see now how yeah. that goes. So it's not just a popsicle stick craft, it's actually, you can use it as something mm -hmm. super simple yeah. without spending a lot of money yeah. to dress up your yeah. the chairs. And like Katie said, or since it's up. an easy craft, your kids could help you do this, um, you know, get involved. Uh, to help decorate for your picnic. So that's another fun 4th of July project. And then if you know me and my husband, we are huge koozie fans. He's more so than I am. He's got a bit of a- Koozie a for everything. Oh a, a themed koozie. Emily yeah. loves themed koozies yeah. too. Oh yeah, Emily does too. <laughs> he kind of has a problem, but I decided to create one for the 4th of July. So I took some of the craft foam and used a koozie that I already had as kind of my template, cut it out, stitched it with some floss and then used a paint pen to create an American flag. So you can make a bunch of these for your guests, you know, throw them in a pail next to your- You put their names on them. Oh yeah, to in. customize. I like it. Um, so another kind of fun, easy craft to do um, for your barbecue uh, this 4th of July and keeps your, your Coke or your whatever beverage of choice you, uh, you have nice and cool. So that's another fun, uh, DIY for you for the fourth. This one I'm gonna pull because oh my Miles, my two year, two and a half year old, yes. love this. So oh, cute. we don't have candy in it anymore. Oh, I no. think he took the candy out. <laughs> but these Smart kid. racket favors are really easy to do. We have a video showing how to do these as well. And you can use it as a favor or just as decoration, but you put candy, oh, this one's open. So you put candy in there and then you can pull this out and have the candy come out. So. That's really super cute. I love it. The kids would love it. Miles was shaking it. Oh my and gosh. Got and his blast off. When the candy off. came out. Yeah. His blast off was just, if you don't even care about the projects, you have to watch the video because Miles and the little blast off is so off. cute. But he so pulls cute. it. So. so you can see the kids have fun with that as well. So you need to make a bunch of those uh, to occupy the kids as well. Um, and then another craft that Claudia did was this adorable um, bald eel. How many pom-pom oh animals can we make? I mean, <laughs> she even added a little flag here. Um, I, don't, I think it was a ribbon that she cut and added because obviously he's a patriotic bald eagle with his little flag. So, so, so cute. She used uh, some pom-pom uh, pom makers. Looks like some felt, a bead, or a couple beads for the eyes here, and her little toothpick for her flag. Yeah, so, so I think cute. she's challenged with a different pom-pom animal yes. like every month. So yes. this one 
represents July. That's right, perfect for the fourth. <laughs> and June was what a flamingo. Flamingo, yes, that was so so cute. Um, and then Lastly, final, yeah, this one. This was another one that Megan the Third made. This is a nice centerpiece, um, and you could use it, you know, for you can use it for Memorial Day, yeah. for Fourth of July, just anything patriotic. And she has a fake candle in there. That's not a real candle, but just some sand to kind of decorate the candle, and then the flag on the front and some. Some twine. So, so, so cute. Another cute July. Yes. I think that's been a lot of ideas. Before we head out, one more check in with Emily to see if there's any questions or requests yeah. for more videos. What yeah, do people want to see? Um, I think people probably always want to see pom pom animals. The eagles are so cute. The flamingo video actually just got posted the other day. So, if you missed that one, look back in the videos on our Facebook page and I'll make sure to post the link. To that as well, um, we've got links to all of the projects that we showed you how to make here today. We've got the full video on our website and again the link to the landing page that has all of the videos on it and they all have um, supplies linked within each of them. So you can get this stuff. There should still be time to get it maybe before, uh, before the 4th of July. So you still have time to make up some of this stuff and get ready for your party. Very cool. Yeah, just make sure to check each product for the shipping estimated time right. and go from there. But everything again, blitzy.com. Thank you yes, guys so thanks, much for guys. joining us. Uh, we will be back tomorrow, yeah. at, I think at the same time, yep. 2 o'clock central, to do some die cutting with Stephanie Bernard That's new right. dies. We're going to have a really cool promo going on for that. So hopefully you'll join us then and have a great day.